The sixth and last document to be exchanged is the MOU on cooperation in the field of broadcasting and exchange of audiovisual programs between Prasar Bharti and the Public Broadcast Corporation of Kyrgyz Republic to be exchanged by Ambassador Ms. Samargul Adam Kolova and on the Indian side by Sri S.C. Panda, CEO Prasar Bharti. Excellencies, we are happy to report that uh, the bilateral investment treaty between India and Kyrgyzstan has been initialed this morning and that a joint statement will also be released during this visit. May I now request uh, the President of Kyrgyzstan and Prime Minister to please step forward for the book release function. The first Two books will be released. The first is a copy of the heroic epic of the Kyrgyz people, Manas Semitai Setak, which will be presented by President Adambayev to Prime Minister Modi ji. May I now request Prime Minister to present the first copy of a collection of Indian poems in the Kyrgyz language, Colors of Life, to President Atambayev. Thank you, Excellencies. This brings us to the close of the agreement exchange ceremony. I now hand over to the spokesperson of the Minister of External Affairs. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we will now have press statements by the two leaders. May I first invite the Prime Minister of India, Sri Narin Modi ji, to deliver his press remarks. Your Excellency, Mr. Almadvek Atam Baev, President of Kyrgyz Republic, Ladies and gentlemen, members of the media, I am delighted to welcome President Almajvek Atambayev on his first state visit to India. Excellency, the warmth of your hospitality and welcome during my visit to the Kyrgyz Republic in July last year is still fresh in my mind. Your visit this time helped us to carry forward the momentum of our cooperation and high-level contacts. The relationship between India and Kyrgyz Republic is filled with goodwill from centuries of shared historical links. Our society share a sense of warmth that permits our contacts with Central Asia, including the Kyrgyz Republic. We are also bound by a common belief in democratic values and traditions. Much credit goes to President Atambayev for nurturing and building strong foundations of democracy in Kyrgyz Republic. Friends, President Atambayev and I held extensive discussions on the full range of our bilateral engagement. We focus 
on our common priority of diversifying and deepening bilateral engagement. We also discuss how we could work together to secure our youth and society against the common challenges of terrorism, extremism, and radicalism. We agreed on the need to coordinate and work closely in addressing and overcoming these challenges for our common benefit. We regard Kyrgyz Republic as a valuable partner in our common pursuit of making Central Asia a region of sustainable peace, stability and prosperity. The Shanghai Cooperation Organization will also give as a valuable framework to work together on these issues. Friends, President Atambayev and I reviewed our cooperative engagement in the defense field. The Kyrgyz India Mountain Biomedical Research Center is an excellent example of successful collaboration. It had proved to be a rewarding research initiative which we need to build on. We have commenced work on a Kyrgyz India Joint Military Training Center in Kyrgyz Republic. Our joint military exercise on counterterrorism are now an annual feature. The next edition has been planned for first quarter of next year in Kyrgyz Republic. Friends, President Atambayev and I agreed on the need to connect our economies more deeply. To this end, we will work to strengthen bilateral trade and economic linkages and facilitate greater people-to-people -people exchanges. We will encourage industry and business on both sides to play a leading role in exploiting opportunities in healthcare, tourism, information technology, agriculture, mining, and energy. We have decided to build on our development cooperation, including in capacity building and training. People have been at the center of such initiatives. We shall give special emphasis to youth exchange in our technical and economic cooperation program with Kyrgyz Republic. The understandings concluded today will support our trust in these directions. In a first, with the Central Asian region, we had initiated telemedicine links with Kyrgyz Republic last year. We are taking steps to expand this project to other regions of the Kyrgyz Republic. Friends, India and the Kyrgyz Republic will be making the 25th anniversary of establishment of diplomatic ties between the two countries in March 2017. As we approach this milestone, President Atambayev visit to India will drive the process and our efforts of our deepening our partnership. It will also help consolidate the recent gains in our engagement and reinforce our ties in the months and years ahead. I wish President Atambayev a memorable and productive visit in India. Thank you. Thank you very much. May I now request His Excellency Mr. Almaz Bek Atambayev, President of the Kyrgyz Republic, to deliver his press remarks. 
Уважаемые представители средств массовой информации, уважаемый господин премьер-министр, Dear ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to thank you for the invitation to visit you on my official visit. Uh, thank you for your warmth, uh, for your hospitality with which uh, you are meeting and greeting my delegation and me. And I hope the factories uh, which uh, late and tie our countries have been highlighted by uh, His Excellency Mr. Modi. Kyrgyzstan and India will share its uh, true fundamental values, uh, human rights, uh, freedom of expression, democracy, rule of law. And of course, we would like uh, our relationships uh, now to be more extensive uh, in uh, economic uh, area to achieve the same cardinal progress in economy. And in this sense, uh, I can only compliment uh, His Excellency Mr. Prime Minister, saying that uh, we signed uh, to consider the opportunity of establishing other Kyrgyz Indian fund uh, similar to the Kyrgyz Russian fund established in Kyrgyzstan to support entrepreneurs and businessmen from India. And tomorrow, I think, uh, at the forthcoming business forum with businessmen of India, we will also discuss this topic. Of course, we should uh, comprehensively increase trade between our countries because uh, uh, we're not absolutely happy with uh, what we have today. Today we discussed in detail uh, that we need to resolve the issues related to logistics uh, and uh, uh, through the port in Iran uh, uh, from India the railway should go through Afghanistan, Iran to Kyrgyzstan as we planned before uh, with Tajikistan. We need to learn a lot uh, from achievements of India in uh, the area of uh, high technologies, uh, the world famous uh, high tech experts, specialists from India and uh, all the IT people know Bangalore, Indian city. We need to learn a lot from each other. Here I would like to repeat the idea which has been articulated by Mr. Prime Minister that uh, we are related uh, with uh, multi-century history, long history. And uh, we remember all that. I would like to say that uh, the first uh, of the dynasty of uh, great Mughals uh, who came here. He came here from the Kyrgyz uh, city of uh, Osh. And uh, and uh, in his book, uh, Babur Name is recalling his home on the top of uh, Osh Mountain, Solomon Mountain. Um, I think it's not by accident, uh, accidents uh, uh, that our national hero Manas and um, has uh, another hero in India with uh, the stress on another um, noun, Manas, and uh, we, everybody who is here, representatives of Kyrgyzstan, many of us, especially my generation, uh, we still remember the time when um, we, in our cinema, theaters uh, we enjoyed uh, uh, watch the either the films about communist party or indian movies uh, films about uh, love i uh, will remember films with raj kapoor i remember his uh, star movie straight guy probably that is uh, 
one of the explanations of our very special attitude uh, of our nation to Great India. And uh, we appreciate that in, in spite of the issues and the problems uh, uh, you've got in Great India, this is the country where more than one billion people live and I can, I can imagine how courageous and brave a person should be to run, to lead such a country, to resolve this problem, sometimes uh, to make uh, very courageous, uh, very cardinal decisions. Uh, and uh, in spite of that, today, the Prime Minister, esteemed Mr. Sri Narendra Modi said that the Indian party decided to present to Kyrgyzstan the equipment above the throne to treat cancer diseases. And of course, we understand all these things and we value and appreciate it and we wish great India peace and prosperity well-being so that not only in India but uh, in no place in the world uh, there was uh, room for terror and for terrorists so that all the nations of the world uh, would live in friendship in consent and uh, everybody could find its own way I'm so much grateful once again uh, for hospitality and warmth